Good morning, baby. How are you today? Baby Reginald is finally ready to go home. He was born a month premature and spent weeks in the neonatal intensive care unit. Carolyn Quijano, a hospital volunteer, spent a lot of time holding and gently rocking Reginald when his mother was away. This one I love, you know, because they're so sweet and they're, some of them are needy, but they're all just, you know, it's just it's wonderful. And I'm very grateful to the parents that they let me hold their, their babies and let me rock them for hours. Volunteers like Kihano are professional preemie cuddlers here at Miller Children's Hospital in Long Beach. The hospital carefully screens volunteers whose job is to provide the newborns human contact while their loved ones are away. The cuddlers range in age from 21 to probably 82 years old. And um, some are retired, some are students. We have men, we have women, we have all different uh, interests, but the main interest is they want to support the infants. So they really love babies and that's why they come. Carolyn retired from her job a few months before joining the program. For about six months I was from June to December I was at home. I cleaned the kitchen out, I cleaned the closet, I cleaned my garage. And then I said, you know what, I don't want to sit around. So I think that I will do some volunteer work. Each cuddling session lasts about 45 minutes, then a short break and more cuddling. Physiologically, when a human holds another human, we release endorphins, so the cuddler benefits by relaxing with the endorphins, and the infants have less uh, corticosteroids that they release for stress. The 13-year-old program helps volunteers feel needed, babies to thrive, and finally, it gives parents comfort knowing their child is getting therapeutic cuddles even when they're not there. I didn't know that they offered the program as for cuddlers. So when I walked in one day and I saw a cuddler with him, it put me at ease a lot because I know that someone's here holding him when I'm not. Other hospitals around the country have similar programs helping newborns recover and go home to their families as soon as possible. For Angelina Bogdasaran in Long Beach, California, NRI's Leary News.